This is Adam and Katie Reed for Stop Hammock Time. Let us know if you guys can hear us. We think we had technical difficulties last time, but it looks like you guys might be hearing and seeing us this time. My phone was acting kind of crazy, so. Oh, yay! yay. We're excited. Hey, Jen, welcome. Hey, Nessa. Vanessa. Vanessa. Yeah. I was trying. Yeah, good job. Sorry. All right, this is our fireside chat, and I think the phone might be melt, or the fire might be melting my phone. We're gonna flip around here. Thank you. Hubby is a great fire maker, pun intended. Pun intended. And he, my job is to tend the fire when I'm home. And as long as it's still like hot when he gets home, whoa, 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 whoa. See, whoa. I'm usually the one talking about that. Anyway, so oh, we gotta we gotta show it. See, we're blazing. It's blazing. See that? Okay. So Our anyway, fire is a blaze. Uh, Just like our marriage. Oh, look! Ooh. They join us. Vanessa and her husband join us each week. There's another Yay, guy! Another male! Yay! That makes us happy. Testosterone. <laughs> See, too bad he can't have like a camouflage heart. Camouflage hearts or. Yeah, how do warm. you guys feel about that on social media and stuff? Like, hey man, heart, heart. Is that kind of weird? We just don't. We oh. don't do it. Okay. Thumbs up, I guess, is better. Anyway, so this should be better because we've already practiced this once. We didn't really love our topic the first time, probably won't like it the second time, but it might be a little more lively and a little quicker. So we were talking about dividing up chores. Chores around the house. Yes. Not necessarily your kids, but you and your spouse. When we um, had... But I will say, as your kids get older, your chore load, our chore load should be lightened because they're more capable to do some of those things. That is true. Adam instituted for our oldest, she's a tween, she's 11, he instituted that she does the dishes now. So, wow, like so nice. Mm -hmm. I'm nicer, don't you think? Much nicer. I'm nicer because they don't have to, hubby does it all, oh, what a great hubby. Um, Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey Debbie, welcome. Uh, okay. On that topic, yes. Husbands who do everything ruin uh, the rest of our lives. Tell them about the guy in the I'm flower. going to. That's <laughs> where I'm going with this. There is a guy that that we have heard of, who uh, has legend. For, <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> it could be a uh, an old wives' tale. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who for uh, every week of their marriage. Every How week. long have they been married? They've been married for like seven years. Oh, you you didn't tell me that. Seven I years. That was like seven months. Every but. week, he has f fresh flowers for his wife. Every week. I think we told him this. I don't maybe. know if we told him this or not. Anyway. But I'm still a little bit bitter. This guy has ruined it for everyone. He makes everyone else look bad, Everyone basically. else pales in comparison. I would like to, no, I, I was going to say I would like to marry him, but I don't like That's flowers weird. and I don't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Not that there's anything wrong with that. With what? Flowers? Guys liking flowers. Okay. All right. We digress. Just, yeah. Okay. So, yes, that is impressive, yes, it is isn't it? Impressive. Whew. Okay. So, um, dividing up chores. When we were going through our pre marriage counseling, the pastor had just filled this form and it said, like, who did, you know, took out the garbage in your household when you were growing up. And we each filled that out. I mean, there's other things like who did laundry, who cooked, who cleaned, you know, that kind of thing. So that who did the finances and things like that. So then we talked about it and we compared notes. Well, my dad, um, oh, Fresh laundry every week, man, <laughs> I can do that. See, I don't mind washing the laundry and sometimes folding it. I just don't like putting it away. So we've got this big stack thing now. And if people want their I laundry, think, it's I think, there. I think what she was saying was he he brings her dirty laundry every week. Oh, right. I get brings it. Brings her fresh laundry. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I, I get think. it. He does it. Yeah. Does he live does he live does he live out of a laundry basket? His favorite clothes are in the laundry basket and he just keeps picking out of that. Mm, <laughs> this guy. Um Cindy's Sweet. husband. He does the laundry. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Good for Cindy's husband. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that is so nice. That is a nice yeah. way to serve But the thing is, it's all about communication, right? And, um, you know, there might be different seasons, too, where you have to, 
you know, ch- like, you know, when you're in the pregnant season, cooking, you might be the cook, but maybe you can't handle that, you know, the smells and whatnot. <clears throat> so, <laughs> see, the, want me to cook. no, the last time we did this, yes, communication key, the last time we did this that you guys didn't see, I was bragging on him. Now I'm being hard on him. What's up with that? Adam is great, and he does a lot of things around the house. And we were talking about, you know, there are things like we have a um, couple that live in Arizona. Was I saying this on the first one? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, and he does a lot of the cooking. And I remember, um, and he's a good cook, and but it was just kind of foreign to me. My dad cooks some things, you know, but Adam has a few things he'll do here and there. But I just Macaroni remember. Macaroni and cheese. And nachos. Nachos. And, but I just remember thinking once I saw it, I'm like, oh man, that would be nice. But you got to find what works for you. And I think. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, an injury or a sickness or, you know, a work schedule, all those things. Absolutely. All about communication. And I think um, you know, there's some women I know they do everything and I I don't know about that. Like maybe God gives them the grace for it, but sometimes it's about letting go of control as well. Because there's times where I'll have people help, but I don't necessarily like how they helped or I you know, wish they did different. I'm not just talking about, you know, everybody, whatever. And vice versa, you know? And so we've got to learn to let go of that control so that we can have people help. And sometimes it's just asking. I remember I used to get frustrated with ask. Adam. Women ask for help. Yeah, I used to think he could, should read my mind and I was really well, mad he couldn't. You can't he read couldn't. your mind. <laughs> you can't read your mind. And, it, and many times we're willing to help and we would like to come alongside and help, but we don't know the need. We don't know how to best help. Preach, come so, on. So wives ask for it, but husbands ask, honey, how could I best help you today? What right. could I do to best serve you? Is there anything I could do to take uh, something off of your plate to alleviate some stress? Besides and, the best bite of nachos. Take something off your plate. It was funny to me. Anyway. So no, that's not funny because she does that. She will search the the plate of nachos and yes, take the very best. It's true. I do. But you do. can have the best of me. Yes. Ask with specifics. That's good. Not just say, "Hey, what can I do?" But, mm-hmm. "Hey, what could I do in the kitchen to help mm-hmm. you?" And and you want to share your little tip from before about how it's a helping out is an aphrodisiac. So guys, get on your help train. <laughs> I I ask Adam like, "What do you want to talk about?" Guess what he said. Sex. Wasn't chores. So, anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah. It shouldn't be a chore. Right. But like, right? okay, here. Right? Am I right? Did you see that's that? right. I, I see that. Between sex and the chores and chores and the sex. Okay. But it's not. Right. It's, okay. And that's not why you should do it. Right. Motivation should not be Yes. Sex. Look, sex starts in the chores. Yes. <laughs> that's right. And sex here's, starts in a lot of places. Here's the thing. Sorry. <laughs> One of the things. Wow. <laughs> One of the things that, um. I love when Adam does is he has, I'm just putting you under the bus tonight. He has a issue with, um, jackets, no coats, shoes, sweatshirts, yeah. anything else. You're going to have to wash the bus tracks off my back. I'm sorry, but he really likes those things and his brothers have the same problem. It's like an epidemic. So anyway, when he gets rid of like hoodie sweatshirts, ooh, so it's a sock. I could get into socks. So like I just reorganized our closet and you know, in our coat closet, okay? And I was trying to bless my husband. Now I'm losing my crown because anyway, now I'm losing my crown because I'm I'm, anyway, I was trying to bless him with this, but he, he had half of the closet, all the rest of the family, there's six of us all together, had the other half and he was like, oh good, you know, it's not, it's not more than half or, you know, whatever. So I found like four or five, five coats that I'm pretty sure he would be willing to get rid of. And I think he got rid of three out of the five. Three out of the five. Three out of the five. So he does get, but when he gets rid of stuff, woo-hoo, I think it is very attractive because I just love that and so sometimes he's like honey I'm going through my t-shirts you know (laughs) anyway that's just our little thing you really didn't need to know that but anyway how do you guys divide chores around could help somebody it might help somebody guys if you have a thing and you can get rid of some of those things maybe it's 
Leading to the, the thing. thing. <laughs> yep. So anyway, how how do you guys divide chores around your house? I think communication is key. And uh, Adam had said earlier, you know, there's not necessarily man's work and woman's work. We just had a situation the other day. I'm going to put myself under the bus don't now. Don't ever say that's woman's work. <laughs> guys, don't ever say that's woman's work or that's the woman's job. <laughs> it's a trap and you need to run. <laughs> so Adam usually, you know, takes care of the fire, but my job is to tend it. And, um, like I, so anyways, I really like it when the wood is stacked on the side so I can just throw it in. And seriously, I only have to walk how many steps to get more wood? 15. 15 steps to get more wood. And the other day I was like, you know, I really appreciate you starting the fire, but it'd be really nice if like it was just ready. And he was like, honey, it's right out the door. And he was right. I was just being kind of lazy, you know? So sometimes, um, you know, just need to communicate and um and be a good team you know and each couple's different you got to find out what works for you what works for your schedules your temperament your wiring um well greased oil of understanding that's awesome that is great and um and be but also in the same vein you know be willing to change like if something's just not working you know that kind of thing but also the goal is to serve one another not just get out of all the yucky chores like my hair clogs the drain and I would always ask Adam to like <laughs> take care of it and that's not really fair because his hair is not clogging the drain. My hair is definitely not clogging the drain. Oh that's great your husband does vacuuming dusting and cleaning any floors that is awesome. You know I usually do the bathrooms but Adam will sometimes do the showers for me because I just don't like to do that and I think you know we just again find out what works for you communicate um and Because you are a team you are and uh the more things you, the more burdens you share, the more, uh, the lighter it, it is on each of you. So the, the burden of, or the, I don't know if I would call it a burden, but the burden of, uh, you know, the family and the, you know, working situations and taking care of the house and kids and all of this stuff, uh, it doesn't just fall on one shoulder or the other. It falls on both of your shoulders, your team, you're one flesh, and, uh, and it should be shared, yeah. not necessarily equally, but in a way that works for the best yeah. for, for you guys. And sometimes, like, there can be different situations where the other person just can't do as much for whatever reason, and obviously there is grace for that. But, um, you know, I think, you know, we know some people, too, where, like, the husband's like, well, I work, and I expect you to take care of everything else. And Adam will often talk to those guys, and he's like, listen, your wife, you know, just to clean your house and cook is a full-time job. Just to take Not, care of the kids yeah. is another full-time job. So your wife has two full-time jobs that really never end, and you have one full-time job, <laughs> right? Isn't yeah. that basically what and you say husbands, to husbands, we think, oh, we've worked all day. We can come home and relax when our wives have been working all day, too. And, uh, and then we want them to take care of us, too. And... Well, and I think and for, they don't get any time until the kids go to bed, and maybe they get an hour before they go to bed for just themselves. Well, and sometimes, so too, like, you know, maybe the, you know, if you are at home, that's not everyone's situation, but, you know, maybe you take a nap during the day. But you know what? You're probably up till 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. doing other stuff, you know? So I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman relaxing partway through the day because they're going to be working longer and... You know, their husband wants them to work it, so you got to help out. So, on that oh. note, we will <laughs> we will say goodbye. See ya. But um, we'll see you next week. Oh, that is so great. Blessed with an unselfish hubby. Hashtag makes Hashtag me smile. nailed it. Anyway, we got to go. <laughs> Sorry. But it was great. That wasn't intended. That yes, way. it was great to be with you guys tonight talking about dividing chores. Teamwork makes the dream work. We'll be back here next Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Stop. Hammock time. time and our fireside chats for the winter. See Bye. you later, Debbie. Take care. And we will I'll be back here on Friday at 1.30 Eastern Time for We Write will offer support for you guys. KDM Reed at KDMread.com. Oh, you're funny. Thank you. <laughs> All right.